Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I'm gonna to do a review on a product that I just purchased. It's a heated vest. I'd heard some good things about them. I never thought I'd actually need one or buy one, but it's supposed to be cold this weekend. I'm up at the property, excuse the mess as I just kind of got in and unpacked and wanted to do this video. But I'm up here, I'm supposed to be in the 30s um, this weekend while we're hunting. And so I went ahead and bought this heated vest and wanted to do a quick intro to it and then I'll wear it through the weekend and give you all my uh, thoughts at the end as well. So this is a heated vest by Besserite and I'll put a link in the description below for this product. It's right around a hundred bucks. And so it comes with a 10,000 milliamp hour battery for the uh, heating coil and I assume that's what's in here. And then you've got your vest here, which honestly looks a little big, but um, I got a large because I thought I was gonna be wearing multiple layers and stuff. And I thought I'd put it over all my layers. So we'll see how I end up using it and how I like it. But I mean, as far as construction, it seems like it's pretty well built. You got a pocket on both sides that zips up. Uh, looks like you have a pocket here in the inside and it's got a cable so I assume that's where your battery pack will go and that zips up that as well so your battery can't fall out. It looks like it may snag pretty easily but the way I plan to wear it I'm actually going to have some layers this over top and then a bigger jacket over it to try and keep that warmth in. But we'll open up this battery pack. So it comes with a USB charging cable for it. And then uh, a battery here that says best right, 10,000 milliamp hours. So it looks like you can use this as a charger as well if you need to, um, which is kind of cool because you can just keep your phone in your vest and plug it into the USB. But let's see. So it's not fully charged right now. It has two lights on it. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and get it charged so that I can wear it in the morning. And I will do a, a review of this and let you know if I think it's worth buying one. But, you know, with it being in the 30s, this will be a, a good test for it out here. So uh, stay tuned and hope you enjoy this video. I just wanna talk a little bit more about this vest. Um, so you can see, it's kinda of hard to see, I'll do a different video kinda of showing me wearing the whole thing. Not a big fan of the neck thing, although when I turn it on, it has a heated piece around the neck, which is actually pretty nice. This lights up here for the level that you're at. So red's the hottest, then you have blue, green, and it'll cycle back to red. Shut it on and off, you just hold it for like two or three seconds. I will say it was pretty nice having this out in the blind. Again, it was only 52 degrees, so Maybe if it's colder, I don't notice as much, but uh, it kept me pretty warm and never got really cold. One thing I would say is it's, it's a little big on me, and if I were to do it again, since I'm wearing it more as a under layer and putting a jacket over it, I would probably get something that's gonna fit a little bit tighter so it, the warmth stays closer to my body. If you're gonna wear this under uh, some layers and getting it the size you want may be fine, but if I did it again, I'd get it a little bit tighter. So I'll keep wearing it the rest of this weekend. It's supposed to get down into the 30s uh, tomorrow morning. So that'll be a good test for this and uh, I'll let y'all know how that goes. So I just got back from a hunt and this heated vest has worked awesome. It's 37 degrees outside and besides my hands and maybe my toes a little bit, I didn't really feel much cold. My pants were pretty good, a little chilly, but the vest, I didn't feel the heat, but I didn't get cold, if that makes sense. So I'll kind of show you how I have it set up. So I've got a outer layer here, not really a thick jacket. It kind of helps keep the warmth of the vest in. Um, so then I have the vest here. And like I mentioned before, it's got three different settings, hot, medium, warm. And if you hold it for three seconds, it'll shut off. So I have an extra layer on today, and so it feels a little tighter to my body. Um, but it's 
pretty nice. So I'll take the vest off. It's got a pouch right in here with a zipper on it that holds the battery. And so this is your battery here. And so I've worn it two mornings in a row, probably sat for three to four hours each morning. So in six to eight hours, only half the battery life is gone on this thing. So it, it'll last you a full day sit, I would imagine. But yeah, so that just, it's got a little auxiliary cord here that goes into DC out and just sits in uh, this pouch here. And then to shut it off, you'll just hold this for three seconds or so, and it's off. So I will say, I probably will not go on another hunt if I know it's gonna be cold without this thing. I mean, I've been hunting in the 30s before here and have been dying, and this, I felt fine today and didn't even have my thickest jacket with me. So I will always be bringing this vest with me. If y'all are interested in this vest or want to buy it for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below and y'all can go check it out on Amazon. I think it was like a hundred bucks or so, but hope y'all enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and let me know. And if I can answer my will, but thanks for watching and see y'all next week.